Hi everyone. In this series of videos, we're looking at creating, assigning, and designing menus in Avada. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use mega menus in Avada. Make sure to check out the previous videos in this series, how to create menus in Avada, how to use the menu element, and how to use the Avada menu options, all linked below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. OK, let's begin. So what is a mega menu? Well, the first thing to know is that it only works in the main menu position, and it only affects the drop-down menu items. So basically, it's a first-level menu option that allows your drop-down menus to be much more than just a simple drop-down. If we look quickly at the university pre-built website, we can see a couple of great examples of mega menus under courses and events on the main menu. Also, here on the classic shop pre-built website, there is another example of a mega menu under categories. For this video though, we're going to take this services menu item on the electrician pre-built site and convert this drop-down menu to a mega menu. To begin this task, we need to head to the menu section, which is found under appearance from the WordPress dashboard, but we can also find it here under the site name so I'll control click that to open it in a new tab. Let's start by finding the parent menu item called services. If we open this and then open the Avada menu options, we can start to turn this into a mega menu. The first step is to enable the Avada mega menu option down here. If that's not visible, make sure the mega menu feature is turned on in your global options under advanced features. Just remember this option is only found on top level menu items. I'm also going to enable max width on the mega menu wrapper width option here. If you leave that set to fit content, you can go into the Avada menu options of the second level items and there'll be a mega menu column width option with which you can set the column widths individually. The next option is mega menu number of columns and it's on auto by default. This will detect how many sub menu items there are and create the menu accordingly. If you want to, you can set this manually. For example, as I have six items, I could choose six to have them display in one row, but in this case I'm going to choose three, so there will be two even rows of menu items and more room for each item. Ok, that's all I have to do for the parent item. That will now trigger a mega menu for its sub items. Let's save this and save our menu. Let's now look at the site. I want to look at it in the live builder, so I'll just control click on the edit live link here at the top, so it opens in a new tab. OK, once it's loaded, I will mouse over services, and here is our basic mega menu. The first thing I notice is that it's not using the full site width. Let's just go and look at the global options for this site, and see what options there are that affect the mega menu. There is a mega menu tab under menu, and here I can quickly see the culprit. The mega menu max width is set to a custom width of 1100 pixels, but the site width is 1180 pixels on this site, as I can see here on the layout tab. As I want the menu to be at least the full width of the site content, I'll go back to the Mega Menu tab and consider the options. I could choose to change it to Site Width, which would make it exactly as wide as the content. I could also choose a Custom Width and make it wider. The other option is 100% Site Width. If I choose that, the page refreshes to implement that, and another option appears below. I can have the interior content to be also 100% Width, or I can restrain it to the site width. At the moment it's 100% width, so let's look at that. If I change that to site width, it updates again. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's good. I like that. I like how the menu area stretches the full width, but the menu items fit within the site width. There's another option below this for Mega Menu drop-down item padding, and another one for a Mega Menu item divider. I might just set the padding to 10, but I can leave the item divider off. As the description says, this displays a divider between Mega Menu drop-down items, and I'm not going to have more menu items in my drop-downs. OK, that's a very basic Mega Menu, but we can do a lot better than that. Let's go back to the Avada menu options in the menu to make sure we understand all the possibilities. Let's start by taking another look at the Avada menu options in the parent menu for this Mega Menu, which in our case is Services. Almost all of these options will just affect the top-level menu item itself. The only option here that will affect the actual mega menu is in fact the mega menu background image, which would spread a background image across the six columns. 
But in my example, I want to add a background image to each of the individual Mega Menu columns. So I will leave this. OK, let's now have a look at the Mega Menu options in the second level menu items, the drop downs themselves. Some of the options here are different to the top level options. The first one, Mega Menu Flyout Menu Background Image, is what we will use to add individual images to each Mega Menu column. The next one, Mega Menu Thumbnail, allows us to use an image as a thumbnail on the menu items, but here I'm going to use icons instead. The Mega Menu column title is on, which displays the item as a linked column title, which is what I want here. And the last option, Mega Menu Widget Area, allows us to add a widget area to any menu item. OK, so what I'm going to do here for each menu item is to add an icon, add a background image, and add a widget area. I'll walk through the first one and then I'll do the others. So for this one, I will go to the Electrician icon set and choose the Plug icon. For the background image, I have resized and uploaded two images to alternate between Mega Menu columns. And I'll start with this one. I'll just select that and it's added to the item. Finally, I will select my pre-made widget area, which I named Mega Menu 1. Let's save this at this point and save the menu. Before we preview this, if we first just go to Appearance, Widgets, we can see my custom widget areas here. And if I open one, we can see it's just a custom HTML widget. Inside, there are a couple of shortcodes. To make these, I just added a text block element and a button element with my content on a blank page and right clicked and copied and pasted each element individually into here. Simple. OK, so let's go back to the front end and refresh this page. When I mouse over services, we can see our first Mega Menu column now has an icon, a background image, and the widget content below that. OK, that's what I'm going to do with the other five as well. I'll be back in a minute. And here it is. Each section has an icon, a background image and a different widget area with some text and a link to the specific service page. Finally, there's just a couple of changes I want to make to how this Mega Menu displays from the actual menu element. I'll edit the header and here I'll open the menu element. On the main tab, I'm going to scroll down towards the bottom and set the Mega Menu Title Justification option to Flex Start. And on the Mobile tab, I need to change the Collapse to Mobile Breakpoint. I've added icons and highlights to this menu, so now it's quite wide. There's already a custom breakpoint here set for the menu, but for my example, I'm going to have to increase this to around 1300 pixels. So basically anything smaller than a laptop, this menu will display as a mobile menu. Let's save this header and come back and refresh to take a final look at our mega menu. OK, the alignment of the titles is now to the left, and our electrician is seriously highlighting his services. OK, that's Mega Menus in Avada. Like most of our features, this is seriously flexible, and there are loads of options with how you can use it. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments how you have used Mega Menus. OK, this concludes our video on how to use Mega Menus in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.